Welcome to the Sunday Mass with Bishop David Ricken from St. Francis Xavier Cathedral in Green Bay. We are the church sent forth to bring hope, healing, mercy, and love to all God's people. Individuals and families continue to return to church every Sunday, yet there are those who for various reasons cannot be present in our parishes at this time. We are here for you. We invite you to pray with us from wherever you are. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends in Christ, today we begin the season of Advent. We open our hearts to God's love as we prepare to welcome Christ into our lives and our homes. The candles on our Advent wreath will remind us that Jesus Christ came to conquer the darkness of sin and to lead us into the light of his glorious kingdom. Before we celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us be alert to the advent of our God and prepare the Lord's way by turning from our sins. You came as our Redeemer to announce glad tidings of salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come as shepherd to gather and feed us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come as judge to establish a new heaven and earth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that, gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel in Judah. In those days, in that time, I will raise up for David a just shoot. He shall do what is right and just in the land. In those days, Judah shall be safe and Jerusalem shall dwell secure. This is what they shall call her, the Lord, our justice, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He shows sin as the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decree. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Our 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts, to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his holy ones. Amen. Finally, brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you received from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times, and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, a very blessed beginning of a new Advent season to everyone. We know that the beginning of Advent is also the beginning of a new liturgical year for us as Roman Catholics. It is year C in our three-year cycle. I would like to just propose today three things for this Advent season. Adoration, A, B, your Bible, and C, confession. A, B, and C. When we think about the Advent season, it's about the coming of the Messiah, the coming of the Savior of the world, and we look ahead to his second coming. We heard Jesus just say in our gospel, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the nations will be in dismay. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. Speaking of himself, the arrival of Jesus, Advent, the coming of Christ. So how do we, as Catholics specifically, have on a daily basis the coming of Jesus? We know most fully in the Blessed Sacrament at Mass. So how can we make this Advent more Eucharistic and focused on adoration, adoring him at Mass when he's lifted up in the host and he's lifted up in the chalice, adoring him outside of Mass, in the tabernacle or, God willing, in a perpetual adoration chapel or when he's exposed in a monstrance. A, adoration. B, biblical reflection. You know, the daily readings for Advent that the church gives us, maybe more than any other readings throughout the course of the year, stir in us a longing and a yearning for us, within, for Christ within us. You know, if you can't go to, to daily Mass, at least follow along with the daily readings. 
as the church is nourishing us as we're getting closer to Christmas. What a grace to have the word of God with us to guide us every day. I don't know if you know, 1% of your day is just under 15 minutes. I think it's something like 14 minutes and 40 seconds. But what if you just took 1% of your day to reflect on these daily mass readings, getting in the word of God and getting to know him that way? So A, adoration, B, Bible, and C, confession. It's always good to make a good confession during Advent and during Lent as we prepare for the upcoming feasts. We should always go to confession if we've committed a mortal sin or if we feel the the venial sins in our lives starting to pile up. But make a good confession this Advent. There's resources all over the place now. There's there's apps on our phone that help us make a a good examination examination of conscience, so many resources that help guide us through the Ten Commandments, the corporal and spiritual works of mercy, the Beatitudes, to help us be prepared for that holy sacrament and to encounter the God who was born to save us from our sins. We can receive his redeeming, his soul-saving mercy in the sacrament of confession. So how can we have a good Advent season? A, adoration, B, your Bible, and C, confession. So let's have a great Advent together. Let's pray for all of our brother and sister Catholics out there in the church. And let's stay alive in our faith. Make this an amazing Advent and God willing, a beautiful Christmas. Amen. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we begin this season of hope and expectation, let us bring our prayers with hearts and voices raised to our Father in heaven. For the church. May we be attentive to God's presence and action in our lives so we may be ready to act when God invites. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who gather for Mass, may the Spirit inspire us this season to grow ever more deeply in the ways of faith, hope, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis' December intention, for pilgrims of hope, we pray that this jubilee year strengthen our faith, helping us to recognize the risen Christ in our daily lives, and that it may transform us into pilgrims of Christian hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may God bring them to eternal peace in heaven with all the angels and saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. 
God of hope and light, your Son taught us the way to you. Listen to our prayers and answer them according to your will. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, As he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death alone. Until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you, to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people, Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I am worthy, not worthy that you should enter, you under, should my enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. join in reciting the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thanks for praying with us today. A special thanks goes to the Bergstrom Automotive family and to the Bishops of Peel for supporting this broadcast. May God bless you. Remember, God loves you, the church loves you, and so do I.